Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me here in Santa's Butch Adapted Toys again. We're working on the uh, Link Squad series that uh, Fisher Price put out, uh, kind of a follow up to the Linkables, another set of animals. And we're going to do the Opposites Fox today. The opposite fox, opposites fox has a couple of functions. I'm not going to turn him on. Let's see if we have it. Because, okay. So I did turn him on. Okay. But, um, so by pushing his head in, it said bop his, bop his head. That's what activates it. And so that means that the action uh, that needs to be, uh, attached your for switch adapting your cable needs to be attached somewhere in the head area now we have to get to that and fisher price does not want you to gain access to the inside of this toy i'll show you why so the first thing we need to do is be able to get the head apart and the head has a screw here and a screw here. And let's drop those off and put them into our tray so we can hold them. And I've got my thumb over this hat intentionally because when you get this toy, looks like it's got a nice ball cap on, ball caps on backwards, really, really cool, you know. And there is no hole in the head in the ball cap. In order for me to discover where that screw was there, I had to break this off. You can see here that the damage that I had to do, and I mean, I was prying on the front of that with some screwdrivers and flats and all that, trying to get that apart. I thought maybe I could do something from the front, so I was working on the front. But then I became convinced that the screw had to follow suit with the rest of it, and it was in the back. And boy, oh boy, what a challenge to get to that. So if you study that real close, this is where you drill a hole, okay? It's right about where the P is in the Fisher Price. If you drill a quarter inch hole to the top of the uh, ball cap there, where the P is in Fisher Price, you will be able to gain access to that screw that's in there without having to damage it. So now we can take that screw out and I'll try to pretend that that's a single unit and, and the like. Um, and so now the head comes apart, okay? And that's where we need to do our work. Well, almost. The action is when the head goes down and the head, I'm going to have to drop that. When the head goes down, it does not push anything here except these two white tabs. There's the function. So where's the switch? Well, it's in here somewhere. we got to get the body apart. So now let's start with the body. It's got five screws. Do you see them all? One, two, three, four. You betcha. Number five is in there. So it takes a face off. Let me move this cardboard uh, out of the way. Take the face off. Battery pack off. Got two screws to get the rest of the base part. Keep in mind that the battery pack wiring goes up to the center of this, so we can't get too far with it. These are all the same uh, screw, by the way, so you don't need to worry about separating them uh, or mixing them up. They're all the exact same. You can put them all into a tray. Uh, 
uh, keep it ready to go and put it back together. Oh, I'm sorry, it's six screws. Look at that. It was wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. In order to get that shell apart, we get access to where our switch is. I feel pretty good about this. Uh, the Lincoln will loose. I couldn't figure out how to get inside of it. It was a blue body. Uh, I just, it, I, I gave up. So when I discovered that I could actually get inside this thing here, it was like, okay, we have a chance. All right. Um, when I take this off, the arms are going to fall off, or they will be able to fall off. Okay, so there's that. Um, where's the switch? We haven't got to it yet, have we? It is... Where did the switch go? Um, action. Let's put the action together again. Go ahead. And the action goes in. There's the on off switch. Action goes in. Plunges down all the way. Okay. I don't, I, I'm pretty confident you can't see this very well, but inside under the left arm, deep in here, there's a, I think you might be able to see it. There's a white, so this one here, there's a white switch. You see that white switch right there? Right. Here. Okay. That's what this activates when it comes down. It pushes that. And that's what we have to get to, to figure out where that wiring goes. So to get to that, we have to remove the circuit board. It's slack here. One screw, I believe, is what holds the circuit board in. Yes, the whole thing just shifted. That's good news. And we have now got the circuit board. And I don't, yeah, there's a, there, there's a possibility you, you, you do have to take this off. There's really no choice on it. But the switch that we're looking at doing is here and when you see the uh, action of the head being pushed down and it pushes on that switch okay so that's where we have to do but as you can see here they've got that switch attached by two white wires to the circuit board and here's the plug for the circuit board which means that these two wires are the switch right here, these two circuit connections. So that's where we're going to attach our cable. Now, wire management and cable management. I'm gonna set this back on here. Probably set this back on here. It's got a pin registration, the screw. It is here. And so I'm going to throw my hole through this boy. So we have some part here that's that's loose, but I put that back in because that's what holds the bottom on the bottom one. Um, on this toy, I'm gonna draw my hole underneath the left arm in the front part of the body. I normally don't like to do that, but we also need to be able to manage everything. I'm drilling a very large door. And we'll see why in a moment here. It's because my cable is, uh, I'm using a mono cable. You're probably going to end up using a stereo cable. 
Mono cable has two wires. Stereo cable has three. You need to be able to turn the stereo cable into a mono cable in order for it to work on a toy. And so the three wires that are sticking out, they're not all the same. You can't just grab any two. But in, in the description down here, there's a link for you to figure out how to make a mono cable from a stereo cable using a couple of uh, little, little uh, tricky tools, okay? Uh, a couple of little uh, ideas. Now, let's see. Get that solder out of here. Um, I need, for when this goes back together, enough wire inside this toy only to reach the bottom side of these two white wires. So that's, that's pretty good. All right, so let's push this in. Oh, you know what I forgot to do on the other toy? I'm going to have to make sure I do here. Ooh. I did make a mistake on the other toy, but it's not fatal. All right, tie a knot in it. We don't want this accidentally pulling it out. Okay. So we're going to tie a knot in. And we can tie that knot very, very close to the end of the uh, sheathing, the black sheathing, because our location for soldering is really close to where this comes in. Um, let's flip this over. And we're just going to solder it right down to those two connection points right there. Um, let's see, the reverse tweezers here. This blue cap is threatening to come off. Let's see. It is here. So we can do this without getting it, kind of getting into a vice or something. Okay, we have this one. Yeah, we have this one. And this one. Once we get these soldered on, a little soldering again. Heating, having some solder on your soldering iron helps to transfer the heat quickly to the uh, circuit board or wherever it is you solder the circuit point. And I found that to be a real good benefit. Okay. So the toy is done. Let's find out what happens when we plug it in and turn it on. And we have some evidence it's on because we have a light going there. And we have this button. Let's see, this button down there is what activates the toy. And, and let's see. Okay, so this has a cycle that it goes through. I'm going to turn it off so we don't have to wait for the entire cycle to go through. And now I'm going to press one of my remote uh, adapter switches, which are mounted on the side, and that turned it on. So I know that I've successfully adapted this toy. Okay. Now we got to put it back together. So for my case, because I have this uh, train relief here, I'm going to get the get one as close as I can and push that into the body right here. I think you might be using the wrong drill bit. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> the, whole, the whole smaller than I hoped it was. But that does mean that when this gets in there, it's going to be a snug fit. Oh, why am I using the wrong bag? I will definitely be looking into that here shortly. Or I do any other toys. I mean, I, 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 this station is set up specifically for working on toys. I don't, uh, I rarely use the 
tools anywhere else and to have this sitting here and not being able to quickly run through these is so disappointing. Okay. All right, I think we've got it in here. And then that's going to be super sitting on the cable. It's there. Okay. Um, done. Got a little debris I saw down in the bottom of it. Let's put this back together. That has to stay there. We have a registration point here. This arm faces forward. There's a uh, wire down in here that this arm goes in. It's a uh, spring loaded so that it always returns to the up position. So uh, careful of that. Um, this came out. It came out, it was mounted in here underneath that circuit board. So let's put that back in. That's looking good. That's looking good. And the screw to put the circuit board back on. Okay, we're done. Done with that. Now, wiring that goes to the top. Goes to the top is going to be the head and both sides of it. That's the front, this is the back. Um, in order to manage these wires, you want to make sure that you push them through. There's a slot here, there's a uh, keeper wire manager right here and if you don't put them through there then you can actually pinch the wires in a bad space down here and uh, potentially cut them when you reassemble the toy so caution uh, at this point that the wires are in that wire management slot doesn't seem like you want to go in there very well, but that's pretty much a, a given that you need to make sure they're there. Okay. Because the other part of this is when you put the back on, it's, uh, let's see, so there's in there, around there. It's supposed to be a mechanical thing. Um, when they put this together, uh, let's see, the white wire stays inside. The power wires go through a slot here that is in the bottom of the, the bottom of the body. So we'll kind of line that up. Okay, I'm gonna come down onto that and Sorry, I'm not able to bring this to the camera doing this, but I need to make sure that this goes together like that. Okay. So we're not pinching any cables. Yeah. Holding it together is this, that, this one. Top one and bottom one, one more. And then we're gonna test the function of the other. Works great. Works great. Okay. So this recesses it's got position where there's these two tabs are over the top. These push downs are underneath that nests right into there. And we can now put the 
back to the head back on, right? Oh, well, nope, first off the gate, the new wire inside. There we go. Okay. So let's try that again. That's there. The blue wire is inside. And again, I'm not going to be able to pick this up for you. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll take it apart because I, the blue wire goes, it, it cannot go out here. It needs to go in here, inside of that, uh, that screw hole. Once you've done that, then it snaps together pretty easy. Like that. And reassembly of the top. We'll start with these three screws. Like I say, when you when you're assembling yours, that's going to be already still on there, but you're going to know that you can drill a hole through here to gain access to that. Really. Okay, so. Because it's loose, I'm going to glue it in place when I'm all done. Get the bottom back together. Which is two screws. I had a, 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 this gray wire here comes down to a switch. User and you and no nobody will ever touch that switch again because that is a demo store demo switch that was that is used while this is in the store so it'll play uh, short interactions. But if you don't leave it there, if you cut it off, try and get rid of it, it defaults then to staying in store mode. It'll never be in um, in uh, play mode. So uh, I did not realize that. I was cutting them off until it was brought to my attention that it, the, the, toy, the toy was not in, it was a different toy, but anyway, that the toy that I had adapted would not get out of play uh, store mode. So I have since learned to leave that alone. Okay. And protect it if you will to make sure it stays there. And done. Okay. It's all back together. Uh, then that's glued on because you're not going to have that problem. And turn it on. And press the head. Oops. Then you. Oh, I put something too tight. Okay. Take the head apart. <laughs> I made a mistake. It's okay to make mistakes. The head apart. What did I do wrong? Apparently, when I put it together, I didn't. Oh, I know what I did. That's exactly. I was. I was showing where this goes, and I didn't put it up there. There. Okay, I didn't put it up there. All right. When I took it apart to move that blue wire, there. Activates it. I'm going to turn it off so that it's fresh start and the switch. Now the switch activates it. Okay. So thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, a like, a subscribe. I appreciate my videos that I, I put out.
Uh, it would be great, uh, great to have that appreciation. So there we are, all back together. I will glue that on, and uh, we'll see about maybe donating this to somebody because it's not a product that I will be doing anything with. Uh, I just wanted to make the videos demonstrate how to adapt them. So thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. This is Santa from Santa Switch Adapted Toys.